All right, guys, I made it back with the boat. Um, it looks good from a distance. It does need a lot of work. Uh, that's where I'm buying stuff like this set unseen. You don't know. Um, so we'll start from the beginning on what I got here so you guys can understand. The boat is a 2002. The trailer is a 2007. And the engine is a 2006. Okay, no idea on engine condition. Um, we'll get up close so you guys can see. The boat does have a lot of dings, dents, scratches, everything imaginable for being an old police boat. So as you guys can see, it's got a lot of dings and dents in the fiberglass. It's got some stress cracks in the gel coat that all need to be fixed. It's got some cracks like that there. We'll show you guys the inside of it. The trailer is actually in very good shape. Um, it's a supposedly a 2007 trailer. It's in good shape. I got a temp tag so I can get it home. The engine, the engine. I, I don't know what to say with the engine. Um, the engine is a 2006 E-Tech 225 made by BRP. Okay. Now, I have no idea on engine condition. That was unknown. Um, they didn't say in the, the listing that the prop spline was bent. So it definitely probably needs a maybe a lower end. The splines are bent, so I don't even know if I can get a new prop on there to run it, um, to use it. They didn't say much on the engine. Um, what I have figured out is that all the wiring and controls and everything are off. So I guess they were going to pull the engine. Not really sure. There's some, some cracks in here. I don't feel anything move when you lift up on the lower end. It's still nice and solid. Um, so I don't know what's up with that. So I have to look at that. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. I'll pull the cowling off and I'll look it over. Um, so I did buy a new tail light for this side because it wasn't working. Put that on so my lights all work. Except for the marker light. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Up there. Um, they took off all the whaler logos, the police logos. So they did take that off. And of course, there's spots like this throughout it that need to be addressed. So I might read and see what's the best thing to do to make this look nice and spiffy. So um, the neat thing is, is it does have some big cleats. It is a power winch on there. I gotta get a roller for the front. So yes, I had a strap here. I've already taken off the rear strap. I'm gonna move it around some more so I left the front strap on so it doesn't roll forward. So let me uh, cut the video here and I'll show you guys some from the inside. All right guys, I lifted that off and set it down in there. I do have the cover. Um, looks like they left an anchor and some other stuff in there. Uh, the cover is gonna need some help. So water's gotten in there and you know killed the wood in there so we gotta make make new but i do have the cover so at least i got the top piece i gotta repair that corner and we'll see what we can do at least we got the top side of it so that's good so do some repairs maybe paint it um so it needs the hinges there so it's got some stuff in there i gotta pull that apart and see what's in there figure that out so we'll, we'll pan this way they removed the outside logos but you guys can see which police department it was from because they left that on there so so that's what the police department was so they left one of the logos there so I guess I'll probably end up removing that because I don't think that's a good idea to leave that on there might get me in trouble so we'll end up probably removing that that sticker down the line once we get it clean and going might leave this ring here or buy a new one it doesn't hurt to have that so we'll look down what they got in this cuddy cabin here um so you got a throwable you got a cooler I don't know what that is. So, looks like 
a med kit or something. You know, emergency survival blanket. So let's see what what dates on that stuff. Bar twenty three. So it actually looks like it's a good kit um, with current CPR stuff and medical stuff. I'm surprised it's actually got easy personal protection kit. I'm surprised that's actually in good date. Well, the main outside says twenty one expire so but so we know probably been at least 21 but they got some direction injection oil so they use the 100 synthetic so they use good oil and they had fuel stabilizer they used looks like so they got kind of base in there don't know what else they were planning to pull off on it. So I don't know why that was unbolted, but maybe they're gonna pull it out. So maybe it needs a fuel tank too. So you got the, the, the bumper there, which is cool. It's got the bimini top. I'll open that up. We'll see what condition that's in. It's got another bimini top there. Um, we'll go this way and we'll look here. So they had a ram mount for a GPS, Garmin unit, which is gone. Um, they also had a radio in here, which is gone, which I believe this is what this antenna here is wires for. They had these, which are junk, because I, I can barely see through, so they're going to probably go junk, because I don't know if there's any cleaning them up. So they had a power thing for something else, and I guess for another radio, so they probably had a marine radio. They left the speaker in here. So maybe I can use a speaker. They also have another mic holder in there for their two radios. Controls seem to be free, which that's good. It does have a whaler steering wheel, still has a power steering thing. Um, so we got, let's see what gauges we have. So we got a hour meter. We have a fuel tank gauge, battery gauge, temp gauge, trim gauge, and a um, tack. So, so we'll see. So we got strobes and nav, nav anchor. So you got strobe lights, bilge, bilge, bilge. All the switches feel okay. I wonder if the siren's still in there. So you got a VHF radio siren, GPS courtesy light, spotlights, strobe flood, port flood. Uh, compass dash bilge bilge manual um, strobe so them lights them switches correspond to that light there flood that flood and I guess they cut some for the strobes I guess maybe they had police lights they did leave this strobe light up here it's probably still good even though it's been out in the weather because they're pretty sealed um, but that's not a big deal I can pull that out and uh, get rid of that so they have the anchor light here and they have a radio antenna here so maybe for another marine radio I can get another might be able to even use that antenna I don't know I'll have to read on it and see um, so I'll probably keep this because I kind of like that and I might maybe put some other lights on there, or some other antennas or whatever, so I can do stuff with that. So I could actually probably get, take these, maybe run new wires for these if I need to, and put strobes on it for the sides and the back, maybe. Be cool, I can do a lot with this, this mount. So we'll figure that out once I get it all going. Try to run stuff up there. So. Uh, let me walk around this way here. Okay, so we're back on this side now. So we got another bumper. We got an old junk wood paddle, old junk rope, uh, some grass growing. We had a bunch of dirt in there that just kind of blew out and it's going along. We'll go back to this way. Another bumper. Um, another, I guess, access panel that could be taken up, which we really can't because it's hard mounted. This uh, post is mounted. 
So they also have this mounted to that. So I, I guess at one point their thought was to make it so you can lean it because it's bolted there on the bottom. But, and it's bolted there, you can undo it. But then they put this handrail here, so I really can't lean it. So it is what it is there. Uh, we got a clear plastic thing back here. We got one battery there. Looks like we got a spare holder here. We got some jumper cables and a hose and a fishing scale. And that's about it in there. But at least we got a nice set of jumper cables. Not really worth the money I spent for the jumper cables, but that is what it is. So we got a whole bunch of wiring that they labeled for everything. So that's kind of cool. So we can set that back up in there. We got the main battery. I'm surprised they're only run running one battery, but that's what it looks like they're doing. They have one battery mounted up in there. 518, so the battery's probably bad. It's four years old. So they have a battery switch. Uh, we could try turning it on. We'll see if we get anything up here, maybe. Doesn't look like it. It's probably dead, which is to be expected. So we'll just turn that back off just in case it's not. So we got oil. Looks like we still have oil in the oil tank. So that's cool. So um, we'll look this way. So um, I do have that access panel. I threw it in the center console because it came loose. It was laying in there. I have some dock line and some other stuff up in here. Um, so we've got a bunch of different stuff in here. So i got to figure out what all this stuff is. we even got a light up top, so that's kind of cool. Um, so I'll have to figure out if I can use their antenna wire, maybe. So we'll figure out stuff and see what else we got in here in a little bit. So we'll finish looking it over. Actually, there's not too much left to look over. So that's about the gist of it. So I'll see what I can figure out with you guys and I'll start troubleshooting some and we'll see if the engine's good.